Hey mom. Uh, so this is the computer, dad's computer, at least the same model. Um, just going to show you quickly on how to swap out that hard drive. So um, I'm just going to leave mine in place back here, but it's with your cords in the back and this in the front. You first want to just undo the power. And so I've replaced my Torx screw with one of these little quick release screws. Use that screwdriver that I had shipped out to you to unscrew that one. And this is the inside of the computer. And this is your hard drive that you're going to want to switch out. Uh, there's two more of those Torx screws. One right here and one right here. And we'll take those out real quick here. And after you've taken those out, if you look back here, there's this little thing right here. You have to push that and lift up on this whole assembly at the same time. If you try to lift up right now, it's locked into place. But if you push that, I can't do this while I'm filming, so I'm just going to set this down over here. So push down on that and lift up on that whole assembly up and out. We'll slide that out. Okay. And so you can see it's out now. You just be careful not to, when you're doing this, be careful that this whole assembly here doesn't touch the side of the motherboard there. Just make sure it just kind of comes straight out. Uh, my setup, I've actually got two hard drives in here. One right here and one right here. And you'll see these have data cables and power cables going to each one of them. So for our case, we'll just use this one right here as an example. Um, and these are keyed so they can only fit in one way. So Basically, you could just pull that one straight out, and then the power one, this actually has a little quick release stub right there, so you have to actually like squeeze that and then pull out. So, it's got rather dusty back here, but you can kind of see how these are keyed, like how that little nub comes out right there and this little thing comes out right there so these can only fit in one way so if after you release that after you remove these two cables you should be able to just take this whole assembly out and then get a screwdriver to oh well, it looks like another one of those Torx screws basically is like what you're gonna use to to, uh, to uh, release the hard drive so you probably have this one two three and four. So after, you're, after you take out those four screws then you should be able to lift that hard drive right out of there and then put the new hard drive in its place and you'll see spots on the side of these hard drives where it'll screw in and you don't have to get crazy and tightening those up you can just just you know not hand tight but just a slight snug so after you get that back in there and then you want to basically plug the data cable back in. And then your power cable. And then again, you'll see how it only fits it in one way. How it's kind of L-shaped. And you'll kind of hear a little... Ooh. There, you'll kind of hear it tick in there. So... Once everything is in there, you can bring it back in here. And you can kind of see how these two holes right here match up with the case holes. So you just kind of push it back in there. And after it's snug, it's kind of have to mess with it. You can kind of use it that hole right there to 
kind of guide it into place. After it's in there, it should just... And try not to push on the hard drive itself, because that can kind of... That, that can damage the hard drives. You have to, these are fragile little creatures, and it's got to take some care. And, there. You just got to push it back and then down, and it snaps into place. And then you take those two screws, the torque screws, and you screw them in. Kind of work it back and forth just to get them in there. After they screw in a little ways, you might have to kind of like bend that metal and work it back and forth. Not really bend the metal, but flex the metal to where you screw in nicely. And it should just go in nice and smooth so it's not cross-threaded or screwing crookedly. After that's it's nice and snug, then you can put your case back on and you kind of see how these, like that little guide down below here, will kind of line up. Again, I'm going to have to jimmy it until it goes in nice like that. And then you'll have your torque screw, and I've, like I said, I replaced my screw with this little thumb screw. After that's done, plug your power back in. and any other cables that you may have removed. And that's it. That's how you replace the hard drive on this HP.